I was talking with the KSAN team about why we don't cancel school for beautiful weather. I can't remember the last time we saw this nice out there. We're always canceling it for severe weather, but if you definitely got out there and took advantage of this pleasant weather this weekend, it was perfect for it. And the Cowboys won. It was a pretty good weekend overall. Now, the temperature change over the last 24 hours really went down into those lower 50s, made a good 30 degree run at those lower 80s. And we're going to be dropping back down into those 50s tonight, but things are on the warm up because by the end of this week, by Friday night football, we could be pushing back up into those triple digits. Now, 82 in San Angelo, everybody else joining us in those 80s across the entire region. It feels amazing out there and not a cloud in the sky. That's because we're seeing a lot more of that dry air make its way in from the northwest. 79 in Sterling City, 80 down there in Junction. Everybody a couple degrees close together right now, even though we're seeing some of those drier temperatures. Now, we've gone down to about a quarter of where we were last week around this time. Everybody's in those 20s across the entire region. While those dew points have dropped all the way down into those 30s and 40s and if you're up early enough you see a lot of dew across the entire area and uh, you know widespread uh, definitely on the windshields and the grass across the entire area upper level pattern take your attention down towards the gulf coast region we're watching the circulation around there that is tropical storm francine slated to become a hurricane while we watch this low pressure make its way in from the west it's actually going to stall out the storm somewhere around missouri and illinois before things become stationary over the concho valley and we see more rain return that low pressure going to cool things back off from those upper 90s. Water vapor is picking up the circulation fran from Francine, but you see this long stretch of dry air. That's our stationary boundary. Definitely going to hold things to the south. None of it's going to make its way up into the Concho Valley, but that's leading the door wide open for some of that cold air to slide its way back down, and no one's going to complain here in the Concho Valley. Moisture Tracker is going to show you the strong wrapping as it takes aim at Louisiana, definitely keeping things dry in the Concho Valley. It's going to continue to pull all that moisture off towards the east. Severe weather outlook, nothing in the Concho Valley, a little bit over the Rocky Mountains, and it's actually not that bad around the Gulf Coast region, even though we're expected to see a lot of Francine-like conditions really take aim across those areas. Storm surges anywhere between six and seven feet. Speaking of Francine, here she is right now as she starts to become more organized. Right now, moving northwest at about seven miles per hour, she's definitely slowing down by tomorrow about 1 p.m. Slated to become a Category 1, then into a Category 2 as it gets kind of closer towards Corpus Christi. Definitely a lot of hurricane feel out there when we look at the sea surface temperatures picking up coastally around that seven degree mark but up towards the north pushing closer towards that 85 if not 87 degrees you can already see it being picked up on the satellite as it starts to get higher in that altitude over the Concho Valley dealing with a lot of compressional heating while we still see some of this clear air across the entire area watch tropical storm Francine slowly become a hurricane as it sort of rides along the Gulf Coast region that cold front is gonna make its way down where we'll see nothing but clear air here in the Concho Valley before it really picks up speed as it makes its way into Mississippi, sort of pulling all that moisture out of the Concho Valley, definitely keeping us dry. So tonight, back down into those lower, beautiful 50s. Then tomorrow, a good run at those 90s, so make sure you have a little bit of water close by because we're still dealing with those drier conditions. Now, we're going to slowly warm up by Friday night football. We're creeping towards those triple digits, but the cool down is on its way. That low pressure off the West Coast is going to bring warm moisture in, and as we make our way closer towards it, it's going to push us back down into those lower 90s. Stay tuned to more for the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.